In this video you will be shown how to apply panorama limits. Uh, that is very useful and the uh, sending tool. This, uh, this panorama has those uh, holes and needs a limit and also the third panorama here. Uh, those have to be hidden away so the panorama will not show anything beyond beyond this level here. And the same for the for the top, it has to be leveled off. Uh, the second panorama should have no limits. Let's go back to the first one. In order to apply the limits, the first panorama has to have uh, a low resolution image uh, if it is supposed to get get uh, its own limits. Uh, so uh, I go to the plugins and to the pre-panel and take the pre-panel for initial panorama and I reload. Next, I go to the plugins and to the limits. I move the panorama into position, and I use the crosshair here in the center to decide where the limit should be. Now I use the arrow keys because I have added this uh, this hole manually without having it exact in position. So there it should be okay. Here I will enable for the limits. I click the set individual limits button. This is the first panorama which has those two uh, those two uh, functions. This is the function for the low resolution and this is for the complete panorama. Now I want to put the lower limit and now everything is ready. I apply the lower limit here. And then I move the panorama to the upper limit central point there should Let's see if it is enough it goes a little bit in there or here should be okay and I set the upper limit and then I click the second part of the function the complete and the limit has been set for this panorama now it will not show anything down or up from the holes now I move to the third panorama and I do the same thing over there. I will leave just a thin stripe of the of the color so you can see how it will apply the limit. Set the, set the individual limit button here and I'm applying the upper one and I go down, apply the lower one and I will also keep a little stripe of the of the green that would be visible here at the bottom and I apply the lower one and I go for the third panorama, the complete. I reload the project. First panorama is limited. Second panorama without any limits. all the way down, all the way up, and the third panorama, the low resolution did show up there initially because I have not put any individual uh, opening uh, views for the panoramas, and there you can see this little part of the color and also on the top, you will be able to see it there, up here. So the limits have been set for number one and number two uh, and number three. When uh, the second panorama has no limits, uh, applying the individual opening view for the first panorama, I will have to start here. I will just go to the visuals, save position, home position, save position, and I go to the Tourificator, individual initial position setting, and I apply that to the low resolution when the first panorama, this one, is selected. Then I go to the second panorama and view panel, and I want it to start up like this, and then I 
go to the individual initial position and I click the first part of the load panel here for panel number two and then I go to panel number three view panel and let me have to start up like this individual initial position for number three for the first part here and it's ready reloading should have a presidential pulse there and the second one zoomed out from the bathtub and the third one in this window And this is how uh, you apply the limits and individual uh, uh, individual initial position uh, opening view for the panoramas.